In today's video, we're overclocking the NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030 graphics card all the way up to 2038 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus GPU Tweak 3 software tool. I'll speed run you through the overclocking process and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is not the full picture on how to overclock this graphics card. If you want to have a better understanding on how to overclock this kind of a card, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. Open the ASUS GPU Tweak 3 software tool. This software tool provides us with access to all the parameters exposed in the NVIDIA API. We specifically want to adjust the parameters that can impact the GPU Boost 3.0 behavior. Open the settings menu. Select Enhance Overclocking Range. This setting extends the GPU Boost Clock and Memory Clock Frequency sliders in our software. Our memory overclocks far better than what the standard range allows for. Click Save. Leave the Settings menu. Set Power Target to 100%. This ensures the GPU Boost 3.0 algorithm will use the maximum available power consumption headroom. For the GeForce GT 1030 GPU, that's up to the TDP of 30 watts. Note that unlike on high-end graphics cards, the GPU does not monitor the actual power consumption from the VRM, but rather estimates the power based on internal information such as current VID, GPU load, and memory controller load. Set GPU voltage to 100%. This enables the overvoltage feature present since GPU Boost 2.0. Over voltage specifically refers to the extended voltage between the reliability voltage and the maximum voltage as specified by NVIDIA. The reliability voltage VRL is the highest voltage the GPU will safely run at without harming the long-term lifespan. The maximum voltage VMAX is the highest voltage NVIDIA will allow the GPU to run as it may harm the lifespan. This extended voltage range can be enabled or disabled by NVIDIA board partners. Set GPU boost clock to 1766 plus 260. This offsets the entire GPU voltage frequency curve by 260 megahertz over the standard curve. So for a given voltage, the frequency will be 260 megahertz higher. The GPU Boost 3.0 algorithm still uses the voltage frequency curve to dynamically adjust the GPU performance according to the available voltage headroom. Set memory clock to 8600 plus 2592. This increases the default memory frequency of 1500 MHz to 2150 MHz. Increasing the memory frequency has twice the performance impact of increasing the GPU frequency and is therefore a key element of our overclocking journey. Set GPU temp target to 97 degrees Celsius. This ensures the GPU Boost 3.0 algorithm pursues aggressive overclocks all the way up to the maximum allowed temperature. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. With our GT1030 now running 17% higher GPU frequency and 33% higher memory frequency at 2038 and 2150 MHz respectively, we see the highest performance in all of our benchmarks. The performance increase ranges from plus 11.12% in FluidMark to plus 27% in CSGO. When running Furmark GPU stress test, the average GPU clock is 1418 MHz with 0.782 volts, and the memory clock is 2151 MHz with 1.34 volts. The average GPU temperature is 46.6 degrees Celsius, and the average GPU hotspot temperature is 54.4 degrees Celsius. The average GPU power consumption is 28.19 watts. When running the GPU-Z render test, the maximum GPU clock is 2037.5 MHz with 1.113 volts. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.